Hello everyone, and welcome back to Vintage Survival. So, chickens have run out of food again. Only just. Only just run out of food. This is not good. It is not good. We need to be in a position where we can purchase a wheat field at some point. I'm also going to need to get a silo, but this is... I can't afford one at the minute. I'll just have to, um... Put the grain into one of these barns, I suppose. Um... Right, so we've got a little bit of chaff in here. It still needs compacting. But 38% compacted, which isn't brilliant. Um... But I guess that's job number one for today, is to get that compacted. Really don't know what to do about the chickens, to be perfectly honest. Might be cheaper for me to sell the chickens. And the ducks. And stop buying the food. For now. Sell the ones that are worth anything. Which leaves me with seven chicks, ducks, and a rooster. Well, it's the way it is, unfortunately. Got to get this weight the right way up. There. Oh, it needs to connect to the other side of the weight. This is embarrassing. Alright, oh, we'll forget the weight for now. But I will put on the um, the forage wagon on the back. Hopefully that will give us a little bit of extra weight, but... Quite a task to get this compressed. Oh, that's lumpy. doesn't seem to be uh, compacting at all. Hmm. That's interesting. Where that is. Hmm. 
How strange. Anyway, let's see what contracts we've got available to us. Plowing. Hmm. Well, they don't have a plow. How much are the plows? 850 pounds for a plow. So I could afford a plow. And what field would that have been? Field 128. 128 is... Hmm. Must be up here. 128 is there. Okay, so not huge, but quite... A funny shape. See... So what I would what what happened what I would get out of that is a, fr a free plow, isn't it? Essentially. Well, not even quite a free plow because it's six hundred and seventy eight, and the plow is eight hundred and something. what to do <laughs> the other thing I gotta think about is that I want to get sorghum into this field and sorghum can be planted in April, which means we may get a cut off it in April, get it collected up. And get it into the pit. But by that point, my chickens would have had no food for a while. And um, snow is on the way. I have heard that potentially the economy is going to get uh, take a turn for the better, but I don't know.
just gonna get I'm just gonna get all this picked up. <coughs> I don't think there's any way you can actually sell chaff directly. There we go. That's all picked up now. Let's see if we can compact it now. Yeah, and it's going up from 39% as well, so that's good. Come on. Practicing fairly quickly now, that's good. It's also spilling out the side of the pit though, unfortunately. And why has it stopped compacting now? wonder if I pick that bit up from the outside and dump it on the far side.
and we've got to the point where there's no compaction again. I wonder if a silage roller or something would help. But how much are they? Seven thousand pounds. And that's not a uh, not an overly vintage one. I'll see what they've got in terms of vintage silage compaction. I found this um this roller here. It's seven hundred pounds. Seven hundred and eighty six pounds. I think we're gonna have to try it because we're really struggling to roll this this chaff and we've got a lot a lot more on the way. So there you go, I spent that money. I'll have to go pick it up. And I will see you back here at the farm. Right, so here we are back. I'm hoping that I can use this roller as a as a grass field roller as well. Let's have a look. No, it appears not. This might be only for silage compaction then. Well, let's test it out. <clears throat> See it if it works. I'm really hoping it does. But I was struggling to compact it otherwise. See, I don't know why that is stuck at 53%. Doesn't make any sense to me. Maybe it's the pit. I don't know. That's upsetting. Well, I'm going to go in for some lunch. I feel bad at being able to eat where the chickens can't. But they seem to be fine getting some grubs out of the ground. There's Edwin. Give Edwin some food as well. Alright, see you in a minute. You're not going to believe this. I just got into a letter from the bank. They are willing to give me a much bigger loan for an, to enable me to expand my farm even more. Well, that's terrific. I could buy some additional equipment, possibly additional fields. I mean, obviously, I'll have to pay it back each day. Let's have a look at their options. So we have got the um, the one loan at the moment. Which we've still got £5,350 left to pay on. Now they say they're willing to give me a £50,000 loan. Over a period of five years. Which make the monthly repayment nearly £1,000. I just can't afford that. A thirty thousand pound loan. Be over five hundred pound a month to repay. <gasps> I can't afford that either. Well, it all looked good to start with, didn't it? I'm not sure what we're going to be able to do. Let me try and sort out this silage pit. I'll have to pick it all up again and redump it and then try again.
definitely a heavy meadow roller because it keeps pushing the tractor on. Right. At least last time when I picked it up and redumped it, it went back to the same amount of um, compaction. This time, we're going to start off by trying with the med meadow roller. And see how that goes. I hope I just have bought a useless bit of equipment. Fifty-seven, sixty-three. Yeah, that's doing much better. Look. Hundred. There we are. Well, that's good. And blanket it. Now there's a little bit left over there. Get that with the wheelbarrow. Thirty-two litres, there we go. Well, that could stay in the wheelbarrow now. Until next load. Well, nothing left for me to do now, really, so um, I might see you again in April. Well, hello everyone and welcome back to April. Well, not back to April, but welcome to April. We have fully fermented silage in a pit, which is fantastic. We can go sell that straight away. We have grass that isn't quite fully grown, but we could get a cut off it. We have piglets. We have piglets. This is amazing. Unfortunately, ducks and chickens are still not doing so well. But yes, we do have piglets. And they are doing a lot better. Yep. So we've got 10 out of 10 at the minute. Which is absolutely fantastic. So once we get, once we get to the point where we need to, we're going to be selling the two older ones, and the young ones can then come up and breed, so that we can sell those two. All right. In the meantime, I'm going to drop off the roller. And we're going to get the, uh, the silage all picked up. And 
Not a massive amount of silage. But I'm hoping the next cut will be. Got 157 pounds in the account, so this is really, really going to help out. Because we will need to get some more pig food and some more chicken food. It's also April, so we could plant sorghum. I do want to get a cut off the field first. Before we um, cultivate it up and plant the sorghum. But uh, at least we've got a little bit of money now. Well, we will have a little bit of money coming in. Right, I'll see you over there at the animal at uh, the straw cell point. Then we can find out exactly how much money. Here we are. If only I could have one of these straw bales for my garden. But I can't. Anyway. See how much we're going to get for this? £293. With a £29 environmental score penalty. Lovely. Well, that's not a lot at all. Right, well, that may have only been a small amount of money. But it is going to keep us going. Keep us out of the... Uh, it's going to keep us out of the red. The new pigs are going to need some food fairly quick. So we'll have to get some more pig food. We've got to get some more chicken food. Next episode. We're hoping to hear that the government has a good announcement to make in terms of the economy. Things might start to pick up. But yeah, next episode we're going to be cutting the grass. Um, getting it all into the pit and uh, then getting this area cultivated up and planted with sorghum sorry it's been a bit of a nothing episode this um, this week but uh, we are in the middle of Poland. Hello, duck. And, um, yes, these are hard times. Thank you so much for watching. Join us again next week when things will be a little bit more fast paced. See you again soon. Bye for now.